Okay, so AI generated landscapes. So what's an artist to do when we're faced with this situation? We now live in a world where with a couple of clicks of the mouse, you can generate these images. You know, that's not going away. This is our new reality. This visual information, images like this, can be created for essentially for free with a tiny bit of effort. So uh, I don't know if an artist should feel uh, like made obsolete. Like, isn't that your first reaction? That you maybe have been made obsolete. You can imagine that it'd be easily possible for the computer to create infinite images. Just look at our responses, our pupillary response, or just our likes, you know, and select for us which of these images that we love. Just make perfect images for us. Like the infinite monkeys, the 10,000 monkeys theory, right? But it seems like the artist response is hardwired into our brains. You know, I, I want to make something with my hands and my eye and working with these primitive tools. You know, but, but maybe watercolor is like the AI. I can't really argue with that. What I love about the water is the way it does its own thing. It has a mind of its own, moving, shifting around. The water is creating surprises by flowing. You know, I've always said that's the beauty of watercolor. It's taking what I do and it's adding its own thing. Yeah, so is that any different than the AI, really? It's still a collaboration. I don't know. They're both just tools. You know, we're just more used to the tools of paint and brushes, artistic expression. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Drop me some comments. Let's think about this. That's what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of days with these paintings. Just thinking about it. Out loud. On paper. Yeah. Okay. Take care. See you tomorrow.